We've already gone over David J. Harris Jr. And now I found someone somehow even worse than him. I genuinely did not know conservatives could get any worse than this motherfucker. But somehow I found someone literally 10 times worse. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Tony Barlow. Now, David J. Harris Jr., as much as an attention seeker as he is, at least all he's doing is just wearing clothes. That's all he did is he just wore clothes and me mugged literally anyone walking by him. This guy on the other hand, he just does the same skit over and over and over again trying to like get people mad. I don't know if he just doesn't realize that it doesn't work, like no one's getting offended at it, he just looks stupid. Or if he genuinely just like is loving making these and is just thinking that this is peak comedy because like I don't understand it. Like after all the people in the comments, even the Republicans are telling you this shit is not funny, that means it's not funny, you should take that as a sign. I'm a liberal guy, of course I shine my wife's boyfriend's shoes. It's the least I could do for Chad letting me watch him plow my wife. There you go, that's his whole shtick, is he's just like, I'm a liberal guy. Insert something, something that he thinks is an insult. It's exactly all it is, and in this case, it's about, I'm a liberal guy, I'm a cuck. What I find really funny is that, let's look at statistically who's most likely to be a cuck. Huh. Well, let's look, uh, maybe, you know, let's go look at some people in the past who have been cucks. Huh. Sneeko, a, a conservative. Wait, another conservative. Huh. Huh. Almost like this is projection of some sorts. It's almost like you want to project the fact that since either you're a cuck, or since the majority of cucks are Republicans, that you want to try and project that onto liberals. I'm a liberal guy. Of course I have a dead fish handshake. Uh -huh, that hurts why you squeeze so hard. This is what I mean by stuff that he thinks is an insult. Because who is going to insult someone by being like, Oh, uh, you have a dead fish handshake. What? I cannot even remember the last time I've given a motherfucker a handshake before. Who the fuck? fuck gives out a handshake unless you're at like a job interview if it's not unless i'm going to a job interview i'm dapping someone up i'm not giving no motherfucker a handshake i don't care if it's like a nine-year-old man if it's a nine-year-old man dap me up twin i don't give a fuck if it's a nine-year-old man i'm not going like like we're not i'm not a war general he's not a sergeant he's not the president i'm not shaking his fucking hand what is this even about i'm a liberal guy of course i'm against toxic masculinity Anyone with half a brain cell is against toxic masculinity because it creates motherfuckers like you, buddy. If you want to be masculine, go for it. But the moment you reach into toxic masculinity where you're sitting there preaching about how manly you are because fucking you're such a manly man's man, that's like, it's problematic because you just, it's stupid and, and no one cares. It doesn't matter. I got pigment on my nails. Oh my God, you don't. You have hair on your legs. Holy shit, you go, Bigfoot. I don't give a fuck what you do. You shouldn't give a fuck what anyone else does. That's what, like, what's so stupid about toxic masculinity is that you care if someone else isn't masculine. That's why people don't like toxic masculinity. Why do you care about someone else's masculinity, dude? It's just really weird. I am a liberal guy. Of course I can't do a pull-up. I feel like each one of these that he does, he literally just exposes himself for things that he can't do and wants to project it onto other people. First of all, look at this man's muscle mass. Zero muscle mass at all. Literally the muscle mass of like a middle schooler. I have more than him and I don't even fucking lift or nothing. Second of all, I can tell he's genuinely struggling with that pull-up. Like that's not even, he's genuinely struggling and just trying to play it off. I know what struggling to do a pull-up looks like. He's genuinely struggling to do a pull-up. That's why this, that's, this shit's so funny that each time he does this, he's literally just exposing himself for things that he's incapable of doing. Pull-ups are difficult, man. I'm not judging you for not, gonna do, for not being able to do one. Like pull-ups are not very easy. But don't try and make your burden another person's burden, dude. Like, that's not our problem that you can't do a pull-up. I'm a liberal guy. Of course I just got my x-ray results back. And it turns out I don't have that dog in me. I think I'm more of a fluffy, emotional support cat kind of guy. You heard it here, folks. If you are a Republican, you are not allowed to own a cat. 
cats are for liberals only and honestly i'll take that i love my cat very much and if it's only a liberal thing to own a cat i will very much gladly take my cat because my cat is better than anything you could ever do for society if there was a life or death situation where i had to choose to either save my cat's life or to save your life I am saving my cat's life 10 out of 10 times, buddy. You are dying every time. So I will very gladly have that cat in me. That means I get to keep my cats. I'm a liberal guy. Of course I go down the slides at the playground. <laughs> Word to hear, folks. Republicans are not allowed to have fun either. I forbid someone plays at a playground. The fuck? Like, what the hell do you mean? Oh, you're going to go down the slide? Are you gonna go up it, fucking idiot? What kind of fucking insult is that? Like, I'm a liberal guy. Of course I like to have fun at a place meant to have fun. The fuck is you talking about? I'm a liberal guy. Of course I call all Trump supporters weird. I get all my talking points from the soy stream media like a good little NPC. Dude, you're the reason people think all Trump supporters are weird. You don't see liberals or Democrats going around like, I'm a Trump supporter. Of course I can go join the KKK. It's not something you see, even though it'd be very accurate. It's not something you see. How are you going to sit there and be like, I th they think all Trump supporters are weird. You're the fucking reason. I'm gonna sit there and be like, yeah, cause I got uh, get on my soy boy media. I'm gonna go sit down and watch Fox fucking news. I'm a liberal guy. Of course I play pickly ball. Ten Again, you just keep exposing yourself. You own a pickleball racket and a pickleball ball. You wouldn't own those if you didn't fucking play pickleball. <laughs> you just keep doing this to yourself where you're recording these and you own the shit you're making fun of so it's very obvious you do it dude what reason are you gonna own a pickleball racket if you're not playing pickleball fucking moron you just keep exposing yourself this is a day in the life of a climate activist oh you liz racist oh you liz racist oh you liz racist i treat myself to a kale smoothie with a paper straw yummy kale smoothie i guess the classic conservative joke of calling everything racist. You gotta love the originality here. The day I start reusing jokes is the day I shut down my YouTube channel. This man reuses the same jokes from like 10 years ago though, and it's actually mind boggling. I don't get it. Like, the day I reuse jokes is the day I realize I've lost all my creativity and I no longer should perceive the career of content creation or show creation. That is insane to me. Again, with the exposing yourself, you either just bought a kale smoothie for no reason and you're about to go throw it away and waste a good drink that could have been used for a homeless person or any literally anyone else willing to drink it or you drink kale smoothies because you're drinking a kale smoothie dude you just you keep on exposing yourself man I'm like i don't get what it is with you and again you just get you gave money to a paper straw company because you're using a paper straw you gave money to that company you gave money to the smoothie company you gave money to big kale like i don't understand what your fucking goal here is i'm a liberal guy of course i do two pound curls <laughs> tony 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 you are the one that owns the two pound curls how is your brain not capable of seeing how stupid you're making yourself look when you show that you're the one who has two pound curls for the sake of doing two pound curls you own them not me not other liberal guys you're the one that owns them dude you're just straight up exposing yourself each fucking skit and i don't understand how you have not come to realize this i'm a liberal guy of course i always get colds a tear a tear hi honey can you get me a soy buprofen i'm a liberal guy of course i wear sunscreen republicans i have some pretty bad news for you guys according to tony here you guys are not allowed to get sick and if you do get sick you are not allowed to take medicine for it sorry i do not write the rules tony barlow does another thing Republicans, again, you guys are forced to have skin cancer. I don't write the rules. You guys are not allowed to wear sunscreen. According to Tony Barlow, once again, you just kind of have to deal with the cancer rays that the sun naturally emits, but you you'll be, I, it's not like millions of people die each year because of cancer. I'm a liberal guy. Of course I can't do a push-up. 
<laughs> I'm a liberal guy. Watch me do a push up. Huh? How you like these apples? Huh? How about I, how about I go like a little? Huh? How you like them? Huh? How you feel about that, Tony? Does that make you mad? I bet it does. I, make you, I bet your fucking panties are on a twist now. How do you like that? But the whole point of him being like, I can't do a pull up or a push up is to try and be like, oh, liberals are weak. Sir, let me introduce you to Jeff Monson and Dave Batista. Two very clearly big motherfuckers, very obviously bigger than you. Both pretty liberal. They do not agree with your political views, that's for sure. The thing I found funny though is that in the link in his bio, he has like this link to this Trump flag that you can buy. <laughs> when you open Open the link it literally gives you a warning telling you not to open the link because the website's dangerous just found that to be pretty funny um what are you promoting tony i decided to risk my phone getting hacked by trump anyway so this is what it is um very nice looking website right <laughs> yeah fucking right the thing i found funny is um i get more fucking views than this guy like i find it funny. i'm giving him attention pretty much like looking at his channel his most popular videos are less popular than some of my least popular videos it's outrageous dude you are doing all this for 300 views anything for views i guess but only 300 however that's all i have to say about mr tony barlow here he manages to outdo david j harris jr Junior. in like every fucking way possible in terms of attention seeking and just being generally like a stain on society so i figured i needed to make a video about this because my lord just look at him for i hope you guys enjoy this one i'll see you in the next one bye I'm a conservative, of course I drink bull cum.